So we saw a graph on three nodes, right? I would like to see um, if this process can be better understood by writing it as a matrix operation. So that's my motive. This process is a matrix multiplication and we'll see how exactly can one see this as matrix multiplication. Good. So now let me try writing a uh, three cross three matrix like this. You, you will soon understand what is the motivation behind writing it as a matrix but please bear with me as of now try to see what I am trying to do here. Okay, It's a very pretty straightforward uh, process. So I will write down a matrix like this and then um, I will write down 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3 and that's how we start. Um, that's where we start from as you can see it's 1 by 3 here, 1 by 3 here and 1 by 3 here. Correct? Okay. So we start as 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3 and what I need is the next vector, whatever I am going to get. And what is that? As you all know, um, the value of A, B, C will respectively be so much. We start with C being 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6. Why is that? That's because you have this uh, C here. C has two incoming edges and from B, C gets um, B gives half to A and half to C and B gets 1 by 6 from C gets 1 by 6 from B and it gets 1 by 3 from A. Correct? Okay. Now, what next? B gets 1 by 3. Right? How is that? B gets 1 by 3 from C. Everything of what C has, B gets. Good. So, I am going to write 1 by 3 here. Okay. Next. A gets 1 by 6. Why is that? That's because from B, you have two edges going and half is given to A and the other half is given to C and half of 1 by 3 happens to be 1 over 6. So it's going to be 1 over 6 as you can see. Next, you observe that this converges to 1, this, this adds up to 1, not converges, this adds up to 1, right? And my big question right now is what is that matrix which when multiplied with this vector gives rise to this vector, okay? What is that matrix? Let us look into it. Right, so now I, I need I will write a matrix which will give me 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3 as 1 by 6, 1 by 3 and uh, 1 by 2. 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 as you can see is 1 by 2. Okay, all right. So can this process be captured as a matrix multiplication process? That's my question. All right. Uh, yes, it can be is what you will observe very soon. That's because this is the matrix which will give rise to this vector when you multiply this vector. And this is my matrix. You can verify it. So take a minute's pause and see how exactly this matrix is giving rise to the next uh, iteration. Um, let, let, let me go through it slowly so that you all understand. So when you multiply 0, half and 0, to 1 by 3, 1 by 3 and 1 by 3, basically this half gets multiplied with this 1 by 3 giving you 0, 1 by 2 gets multiplied with 1 by 3 giving you 1 by 6 and 0 gets multiplied with 1 by 3 giving you 0, right? Okay. So uh, as you would have observed, this is precisely the process that's happening here, correct? That is precisely the process that's happening here. So I'm just capturing it as a matrix. Um, it's a straightforward thing. You can observe what's happening here. Take a couple of minutes and then observe it. We'll go to the next uh, slide and we will see what is this to do with um, a page rank. Now, what have we done so far? For a given network, we start from 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3 and see if it converges or not. We observe that it converges. This is the first point. The second point is that we note that 
this iterations these iterations that we are doing right now can be seen as matrix multiplication process correct we just saw it right now coming next we are going to show this next that why does it converge whatever we saw in the google spreadsheet if you remember it converges right why exactly does it converge what is the process here right and the fourth point is what is page rank to do with all these things okay we'll see this one by one 